is the casual cutter here and today this knife is going to go under the knife. This is my Ontario rat number two. I picked this knife up about, I don't know, three or four months ago. Wanted a uh, inexpensive uh, kind of worker knife, beater knife, what have you. Heard great things about them, how good they were for the money. I think I paid about 26 bucks for this. And this is the second iteration. Um, after a couple weeks of carrying it, I uh, decided to acid etch and stone wash the blade to give it more of a worker finish that I wouldn't care about scratching or messing up too much. Um, so yeah, this blade was originally a satin finish and now it's kind of darkened up using ferric chloride with a uh, pretty aggressive stone wash. Um, what I'm gonna do today is basically strip this finish off and I'm gonna do my uh, new splatter pattern etching that I um, did on my Spyderco PM2 that you can see there. It's a uh, two-stage Splatter pattern, kind of cool. It um, kind of changes depending on how you look at it. And um, it's just kind of a different finish. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is strip down the, uh, the finish on this blade again. Um, probably gonna also acid etch the liners because they, they just pop a little too much. So I'll acid etch the liners and the, um, the standoffs as well. Um, so I'll do like a gray finish on here and then I'll do that splatter pattern, kind of two stage uh, finish on the blade. Um, this is not gonna be a tutorial video um, because it's just gonna take too long to set up everything and show each and every step, but um, it's gonna be more of a before and after video. So I will show some steps along the way so you can see what things look like as they're a work in progress. Um, so I'm gonna take this thing apart now. I'm gonna use my trusty Weeha 65 piece uh, bit set here, micro bits. It's an awesome set. I got it about two weeks ago. It comes with a little mini driver, um, extension, hand driver, 65, well, not 65 bits, I don't think, but 65 pieces total. And it's got everything I need to take this thing apart. So stick around and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I forgot to mention, one of these scales has a pretty big uh, chunk taken out of it right there. Don't know exactly how that happened, but I think what I'm also gonna do is um, do some stipling texture to these, um, these scales. I'll use a... Uh, use a, a soldering tool to kind of make this stifling a little more aggressive, not as smooth. Um, see how it comes out. I mean, it's the worst that could happen, right? Here's the blade after I uh, just whacked it real quick with some 500 grit sandpaper and some uh, 1200 grit just to get the, the old acid etch off. And I'm not going nuts on it just enough to get it off because I'm going to etch it again twice anyway. So I wanted to get it just down to the uh, bare metal again. And uh, now I'm going to splatter it with paint and um, start dipping it in some ferric chloride. And we'll see how it looks after that. Now while that blade is sitting in the ferric chloride for a while, I'll show you what I did to the scales. Um, basically just took a uh, soldering tool wood burner, craft wood burner, and I did some stipling to the factory scales. Um, they were really smooth, uh, smooth texture from the factory and I, um, I just roughed them up a little bit, um, made the design and then I sanded them down with some fine grit sandpaper. Um, and then lastly, I took some black dye and I just kind of went over them lightly and wiped them down to give it contrast. Um, it's a rough job, but I think it'll look pretty cool once it's together 
with the rest of the knife. We'll see how it looks. All right, so I got my pattern on the blade. This is what it's gonna look like before the uh, acid etch with the ferric chloride. And you'll notice I also have the vital areas masked off with nail polish. I always do that on the um, parts of the blade that affect the action. So you have the flats where the um, washers ride and also where the lock bar is gonna make contact and if there's a stop pin where the stop pin is gonna kind of lock against the blade. Because even though the um, ferric chloride only etches in a fraction of a millimeter, um, that could affect the action of the knife. So you're gonna wanna make sure if you ever try this that you know exactly what you need to uh, protect and what you want in the etch to actually take effect in. So I'm gonna put this in the um, ferric chloride for probably say uh, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. And then what I'll do is I'll remove the paint where the pattern is. I'll leave the paint where it's supposed to be because it's gonna go in for another uh, short etch to give contrast where the paint was. So we'll see what it looks like. All right guys, so here's the blade after 15 minutes in the ferric chloride. Um, you can see I removed the paint and everywhere where the paint was is exposed steel. And obviously the dark gray area is where the ferric chloride took effect. So if you like this look, it's kind of cool. Um, you know, you can leave the knife as it is. You can sand it down a little bit to blend it. But what I'm after, what I'm into right now is I'm gonna put it in the acid for another five minutes. And what that's gonna do is darken up the areas that uh, are already etched and it's gonna etch the exposed areas just a little bit. And that way when I wet sand this with a few different grits of sandpaper, um, it'll bring out the different grades of acid etch into the steel. So this is the last time you're gonna see it like this. And when I come back, the whole knife will be together and you'll see the difference and what the final um, finish looks like. Here it is guys, the finished product. And I think it came out pretty nice. see that final finish on the blade kind of hard to see with the lighting that I have in here but you can see it's kind of translucent three-dimensional which is the effect you get with the different stages of um, ferric chloride acid etching but yeah it's grippier now it feels better I think it looks a hell of a lot cooler And if you've never actually handled a rat number two or rat number one, um, it's, uh, it's a budget knife that's hard to beat. I mean, these things go from anywhere from around 20 to 25 bucks up to about 50 for the larger uh, rat number one in D2 steel. And that's another thing. It comes in two different steels. So you have OS 8, which is... Um, not as tough, but uh, a little bit more corrosion resistant and um, easy to sharpen. And then you have the D2, which is tougher, but uh, rusts a lot easier. So, I mean, maintain your blades um, and you shouldn't have a problem. That's what it comes down to. If you sharpen yourself, um, there's no problem with OS 8. I mean, I have a, a KME I use and um, I can touch up this edge or completely reprofile it in you know, no time at all. So um, if you don't sharpen yourself, you might want to look into that D2 uh, version for sure. It's going to hold the edge a little longer. But yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. Um, any questions, comments, I'd love to hear them. Um, you could also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to be posting up some... Um, decent high-res pictures of this 
My uh, Facebook and Instagram is at the Casual Cutter. You can find me there and uh, check out more of this knife and other knives that I've modded. I post up reviews as well. Um, I'm doing a uh, a test and review on a Giant Mouse, the new Giant Mouse Iona, which I actually have right here, which is a similar knife as well. I mean, it's about the same size. The action's pretty similar, so if you're interested in one of these, um, follow along on my social media accounts and um, you'll see a lot more of it and find out what I think of it. Um, another awesome knife. Comes in M390, which is, I mean, probably the super steel of the day. So, but I'm not going to talk about that too much. That's for another video. And I'll probably do a full review on this. Um, as well, but stay tuned, check me out on Instagram and Facebook, hope you guys liked it, um, just a little before and after ride on the Rat 2, thanks for watching guys.